How alternator load affects fuel economy. Fill up the canister, turn the side lights on, the AC, and see how long it'll run on half a liter of gasoline. Let's go! Hey there, fellas. So I hear a lot of people asking, like, we go to the same gas stations in the same cars, but fuel consumption varies, why so? You see, one important factor is electrical load. And I suggest we experiment and find out how alternator load affects fuel economy. Let's do this. Right, so for the sake of precision, we'll be using this sort of a fuel injector cleaning system, which I'm sure you recognize as such. I'm gonna put in some gas, start the engine, allow it to warm up, that's to ensure consistency. At which point we turn it off, flush out whatever is left in the fuel rail, pour in precisely 500 milliliters of gasoline, start the car and allow it to run with no additional load. We'll see how long it's able to last, in the process we might measure the voltage, and once all of the gas is used up, we'll have a look at the timer. I'd say that's a good place to start. Warming up the engine before we begin the experiment. Engine running with all of the accessories off. Okay, so we are ready, even got the stopwatch right here. Engine is nice and warm. I've removed the canister, which is completely empty. I have got a measuring cup, which I am going to fill with half a liter. Now we pour the fuel into the empty canister. That is done. And now I am going to fit it to this. Open the tap. So this operates at a pressure of 3 kilos. There we are, it's all good. Open up the valve over here. Has it equalized? Yes, it has. There we are. Now we start the engine and the stopwatch. Here we go. Engine is running, none of the accessories are on, so there's no additional load on the alternator. Doors are closed, nothing is pulling any electricity that shouldn't be. And let's allow it to run. While we're at it, we can uh, go ahead and check on the alternator, see how it's feeling. See what sort of voltage it's putting out. Never done that before. And it's looking good, it's nice and healthy. We are looking at about 14.2 volts at idle with no load, and that's actually very good. Also, I'm interested to check and see what sort of current the electronics are pulling. This is something I've never done, and so I suggest we take this specialized clamp and fit it to these wires. And this is quite interesting. The current is fluctuating. I'm seeing 7 amps, then 6, 5. Perhaps that's just how the meter is calibrated. The average figure is at about, um, let's call it 6 amps. Remember that. And what I'm really interested in now is to see how long the engine lasts. I was always curious about this, actually. This is a garden variety passenger car with a 1.6 liter engine working at idle. We'll allow it to run while we just wait. We are getting close to running out of fuel. The engine has been running for 44 minutes. Come on already. Come on. And that's it. 44 minutes, 32 seconds. That is on half a liter of gasoline. I'm going to go ahead and write down that result. We've got the result down, it's all good. And now we're going to repeat the process. Fill the canister with half a liter of fuel, 
But this time, we'll turn some of the accessories on when we start the engine. As for what exactly, well, what do you usually have on when the weather isn't particularly hot or cold? That would be the low beams. So let me go ahead and, um, the low beams are tied to the side lights. So we'll flip all of that on, start the engine and see how long it lasts on 500 milliliters with a slight load on the alternator. Let's go! Engine running with low beams and side lights on. So check this out. What's interesting is that all we have on are the headlights. With the engine at idle, the alternator is under a bit of load. I'm seeing 14 volts on the meter. So the alternator is putting out 14 volts. But obviously the rev count is low. And another thing we did was measure the current. Which I am super curious to try now. Let's have a look. What can I tell you? These are some quality light bulbs. The current is barely any higher. I'm watching it fluctuate 7... 8, 7, 6. About the same as before on average. I mean, yeah, modern light bulbs are of the energy-saving type, I do realize that. But what about all of the smaller bulbs? Like for the side lights? Anyway, on average, I'm seeing, um... About the same 6 amps as before. Let's remember that and see how long the engine lasts now. Let's carry on. Come on, just a bit more. And that's a wrap. Holy cow. Isn't that something? Look at that result. 39 minutes, 35 seconds. Okay, so... Um, 39, 35. 39, 35. Now we're going to fill the canister with half a liter again. But this time, we go all out with the accessories. Switch on the headlights, fog lights, the high beams, rear window defroster, heated mirrors, everything that we got in there to put as much load onto the alternator as we possibly can. That in turn will put load onto the engine. Anyway, fill up, switch everything on, start the engine and see what happens. Engine running with everything on, minus AC. I'm going to switch everything on. Heater fan on full, defroster, there we go. It's running, excellent. High beams, one seat heater, the other seat heater, rear defroster, windshield heater. I think I got most of the main ones on. Gloss over the stereo, because not every car has one. Otherwise, I think that covers everything. And now we wait and see how long it lasts. Now I'd like to have a look at the current. Oh, for some reason, the load has noticeably dropped. Like, almost down to zero. What about on this wire? Same story. Same exact story on the negative cable. It's showing me 1, 1 1.5, even flashing 0.8. I can't really say uh, why this would be the case. If there are any good electricians out there, uh, let us know what's happening here. Because I don't really know a whole lot about electronics. I can, of course, change a light bulb. But if you know, uh, tell us what's going on. I was expecting to see the total opposite. But now let's wait for the fuel to run out and then check to see for how long the engine ran. Okay, the wait begins. And that's it. 
I ran over here just in time. And these are not the results we were expecting. So this is actually pretty interesting. When we turned everything on, I'd say about 15 or maybe 20 minutes later, the rear defroster and the mirror heater switched off. But whatever, I mean, they did their thing. And they were loading the alternator for at least some time. But with everything else switched on, minus the hazard lights, we left those off because they would have driven us crazy with the blinking. Anyway, the engine ran for 33 minutes, 13 seconds. That is a marked difference. So with all of the accessories on, the alternator was loaded up good. Of course, the reason we are using this fuel-injected engine is that the ECU is going to be constantly keeping the revs uh, where they should be, according to how it was programmed. It's going to be adding a bit of extra fuel into the mix to maintain stable engine operation and uh, keep it from stalling. Okay, 33 minutes. So those are the results so far. But check this out. I've noticed this many times myself. You get into someone's car and there are plugs, sockets, gadgets everywhere. Converters, all sorts of batteries and such. Anyway, I suggest we run the accessories and also a light garland with just some regular automotive grade bulbs for a bit of additional load. Start the engine once again and see how far we can get with all of the extra stuff on half a liter of fuel. I expect there to be enormous load this time. Okay, let's get to it. Better not blow the alternator. <laughs> engine running with everything on with additional load minus AC. We are ready and all of this is looking good. Headlights, heater... Turn them on, dude. You forgot the headlights. Well, turn on the ignition then. Start the engine. Here we go. Excellent, we got everything on. And we're also throwing some additional lights into the mix. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh my. It is having a rough time. The voltage has dropped all the way to 12.6 volts. What's the situation with the current? Okay, so 3, 4, sometimes it goes up to 5. Instead of charging, the battery is getting drained. With the voltage at 12.6, the battery is losing juice, but everything is working. As usual, we have smoke. I'd better put them onto a piece of wood, as they are melting the plastic. The bulbs are getting very warm. Yeah, that'll do fine. I'd imagine the alternator is under a lot of stress, as in it's maxed out at this point. But let's see how much load it can put onto the engine, and how long the 500 milliliters of fuel is going to last. Let's wait. And that's it. It has stalled. Let me get this unhooked. Because it was having a rough time even with the engine running. And here's the situation. With all of that running, with the extra lights and all of that, the engine was able to run for 28 minutes 23 seconds. Okay, well, so in this configuration, it lasted for even less. I'm going to go write this down. These are some interesting results. It would appear that each time we put additional load onto it, the time would decrease by 5 minutes. So here's the situation, guys. No load, 44 minutes. Low beams and side lights, 39. With all of the accessories on, 33. With additional lights, well... These are rated at 100 watts, 45 plus 55, 
We made it so the high beam and low beam arcs were on at once. And the end result here was 28 minutes. So from 44 we got down to 28. And that tells us that there's some redundancy built into the alternator. And it still has quite a lot to give, even with all of the accessories on. Yeah, whatever the case may be, we're not quite finished yet. As we all know, uh, cars like this that don't have a lot of power, they lose a bit of it with the AC on. So here's what we're gonna do. Before we were running the engine with the low beams, the fog lights on, I suggest we go with that configuration plus air conditioning and uh, see how much extra load it exerts. We flip the AC on as well as the interior fan, fill up the canister, turn the side lights on, the AC, and see how long it'll run on half a liter of gasoline. Let's go! Engine running with everything on, including AC. Turn the AC on. Is it on? There we go. With everything on, let's wait and see how the AC affects fuel consumption. Together with those other accessories. Let's go. So here's what's up. With the AC and the headlights on, side lights, low beams, fog lights, and of course the AC, the engine lasted for 25 minutes and 56 seconds. So those are the results. The AC beat the alternator in terms of load on the engine. You can see all of the results up here, and you saw how this all went down. That's it for this video, make sure to sub, comment, uh, alright, catch you later.